Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm Handington and today we are continuing Oni Resim. I have a fan going. Hold on a moment. There we are. Hopefully that won't blow into the microphone and then make tons of noise that I can't hear. I mean, I hear the fan, but it's not as loud as it will be on recording, probably. Anyway, I did not continue playing the game. Uh, this is actually the next day from the last time I recorded this. Ugh, that lightning keeps surprising me. All right, English. I didn't end up doing anything. I basically just took a me day uh, from all the stress that has been happening this July. So... I meant to record earlier today, except I was just not feeling it. But right now I'm feeling a bit better. I had actually watched some uh, Let's Players that I had episodes of saved on my computer, and I feel in a much more Let's Play-ish spirit. I have new energy, I'm not as tired, I am ready to do this, and hopefully we can get into the temple and I won't continue to fail. Into the forest. Oh, this is a little loud. To lower the volume. In the forest. Now we can actually load a game because we have a saved file. Please continue. Yay! Uh, there we are. Yay! We have 15 hair dryer. She has just woken up again. New strength. Let's head off. Come on, little... What, well, what did I name her again? Uh, Elmo Mick Spunky Pants or something? Oh, she's not wearing any pants. Oh my gosh, she's not wearing any pants. Honey, where are my pants? <laughs> okay, developers, uh, j just wanna, just wanna let you know, maybe you should fix that. In fact, no, that's not a maybe. You should absolutely fix that. Make sure this girl is wearing pajama pant bottoms. Uh, this is a game that stars a small child. Visible pants are necessary, please. Spunky Mc- oh, S Spunky McSpunkington. She's Elmo Spunky McSpunkington, because she has a spunky personality. Spunkmaster, no! Oh, okay, she almost fell. That looks like a magical mushroom garden that's secret. Let's slide down here, don't die. Yay! Oh no, death! She didn't die, but she fell into a magical land of death. That sounds not correct. A magical land of death. Who'd have thought? I really hope this appears on the recordings. I have not checked the recordings from yesterday, now that I think about it. All right, I can jump. Swim, little one. Is there a secret behind the waterfall? Is there? Eh, there's no secret. Developers, you gotta hide secrets behind the waterfall, or at least some of them. See, there's a whole bunch of waterfalls here. If you hide a secret behind one of these waterfalls, that's great. I, I don't think there's actually any secrets that you've hidden in here, but I will check. Nothing? Darn. All right, you gotta, you gotta do that, developers, please. Waterfall secrets are awesome secrets. Oh, it's a chasm. I like that we can jump up on these rocks, though. I like that it's a barrier that stops us from uh, immediately jumping off, but we can explore over here. It's not like an invisible wall. I like that. I think that's a nice little touch. Helps with the exploration. There are little mushrooms up here. Oh, no, 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 no. But, you know, invisible walls are put up there for a reason. Then again, most games have invisible walls, so not having an invisible wall shakes it up a bit. So... That's something that you can just do whatever you feel. Which also, I need to say, this game is beautiful and amazing and is super cool. So, I am not... I just, I just, I just like to give friendly little suggestions, but I'm not telling you, like, what you can and can't do besides giving this child pants. You have to do that. But other, otherwise... Oh! Do as you wish, this is your vision, and it is a really great vision so far. I'm very happy to help promote this any way that I can. Anywho, to the forest. To the forest. Oh no, there's the bull! Uh, or the mechanical boar, or whatever. I don't remember these things being here the last time I walked up this hill. Uh, 
That's strange. Anyway, away we go. Now I have no idea which direction will lead me to the forest. Ooh, little secret. <laughs> oh, great, now I have the hiccups. Little secret path, and there's a tree. No. Eh. Get away from me. Get away from me, toad lizard men. I don't know who you I don't know who you are or what you are, but I have a very particular set of skills. I will come for you, and I will kill you with my child umbrella. Yay, tree! No 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 don't fall, don't fall. Yay, you didn't fall. I stand tall upon this tree. Are we even supposed to be here? I'd love if there... If this was not intended, then I'd love if you had add a little secret here, though, devs. Any little pointers or suggestions that I can give, if you actually listen to it, I'm honored. So thank you. But if not, that's fine. Look, Simba. Everywhere the light touches is our kingdom. What about that shadowy spot over there? Go there. Especially go there. Okay. Oh... You lied to me, Mufasa. Yes. Mwahahaha. For I was secretly Scar all along. And he pulls back his mask and then it, he reveals that he's actually Mufasa. I, I mean, Mufasa was actually Scar the whole time. And he goes, oh no. And then Scar pulls off a mask and ends up being uh, Scar. And then it turns out that the Lion King, everything that we had known before, was a lie. We're going back to the Autumn Valley. I don't know if that's what it's called, but I'm calling it that. And it appears my hiccups have stopped, which is a good thing. Though, I don't know how many of you were waiting in bated breath to know about my hiccup situation. Is the moon... Is there another moonstone up there? I do remember that they were called moonstones, or is that just glowy stuff? No, there's another moonstone up there! Alright, looks like we're gonna get it. Do I still have my Moonstone? I don't? So that was... Oh, did I get that and die? Does it not save the Moonstones? Okay. That might be it. That might have been the case. Alright, I'm glad I checked. I'm glad I didn't go to the temple right away. I want that Moonstone. Even though they probably won't do too much in the long run because, you know... Demo. But it, it feels... Really awesome. I keep forgetting that this is a demo sometimes. Uh, I think that the water cooler gives us water ammo. It does not restore our health. I wish there were a couple of extra places to buy health uh, using the pearls. I think that would be kind of helpful. There's plenty of ammo buying places, which I like, and I like having different ammo. But I think, it, uh, yeah, I still have this out. Very good. I still think that there's if having some place to buy some health would be pretty good too. <laughs> she said, "Ooh, shiny!" Yay! We got a dreamstone! Hooray! Now we can summon Farrock. There we go. Farrock was one of them. Oh no! Don't kill the child! Don't kill the child! At least I want to save first. Where's the save point? She is mortally wounded, or almost mortally wounded. Where's the save point? Where's the save point? Gotta find the save point. I found the save point. Thank you. Yay! Alright, now that we saved, her health is being restored. Just, you know, your face has been cut in half on the left side, but you can just kind of rub your eyes a bit and that'll be fine. That heals stitches. I actually got stitches when I was younger. It's on my right hand. I don't know if it shows up during my Handington skits, but you can see that very well. But I do actually have stitches on my arm. Well, they're the remnants of stitches. They're not actually the stitches anymore. When I was younger, I leaned up against a Raggedy Ann doll at one of my friend's house houses. And it fell off. It was up against the closet on a little hook. And I accidentally... I was leaning on it accidentally, and I fell. It, like, it, it slipped off the hook. And I fell to the floor, and my hand got stabbed in one of those clock radio slash CD player things. Now, there was also a curtain rod nearby. It could have also uh, got cut on the curtain rod. I'm not sure what cut it, 
but my hand just slammed right down on it and it got really hurt. So much so that I had to get stitches. And uh, we, we rushed to an emergency place that did stitches. Not the emergency room, but some place. Uh, we got the stitches. Ooh. I got the boomstick. Yay! Oh, this is the Nerf gun. Oh, the thing that the mole has isn't the Nerf gun. Okay. Oh, well, that's awesome. I will save, actually. Again. But yeah, I had to get stitches. And we came home, we ordered pizza, and then played Link's Awakening, which was fun, because we got to play it on the TV using this Super Game Boy converter with the GameCube. So, it ended up being a nice evening, until I woke up later in the night and then felt a lot of pain. I didn't know that they had put stitches on me, I just felt like a whole bunch of little spikes in my skin, and I thought that they had just done, like, injections or something to stop it from being infected, because all I saw was a bandage, and it turned out that it was not actually a big cut with a bandage on it, I actually had stitches, which I did not realize until they did that. Because they, they didn't actually tell me that I had stitches until I came out later that night um, saying my hand is really hurting now, because it hadn't hurt before. I think they had probably put some sort of numbing liquid or injection in there to make sure that it would hurt less, but it hurt, it hurt a lot while they had been doing it. So they probably didn't. It, ju it just... For some reason, going back to sleep, it hurt a lot more. Anyway, uh, talking about dreams and pain, uh, it is a pain that I did not get to the temple, but I did co recollect the moonstone, I saved, and I got some more pearls. I am really dragging this out even longer than it needs to be. But, you know, I like to take my time, I like to explore. I don't want this demo to be over th so quickly. This is fun. I want to have fun. I want to have a good time. I want us to explore and enjoy the world and land and... Try to climb up rocks and trees and things while we explore this wonderful, whimsical land. Though there's a lot of fighting, and a lot of the fighting music continues to play. I wish there was a bit more of a whimsical feel. I mean, it feels super whimsical as of the moment, but I wish there were a couple more NPCs around. Like, you'd save an NPC and then they'd give you some extra stuff for, like, enemies around. Similar to what we did with Charles, but more, uh, casual, like, uh... Not, not like the normal kind of NPCs that you would normally uh, do to access a new area, but just somebody to give you a s small little bonus for saving them. I think that would be an, uh, a neat little touch. Helps make you like the world. It's not entirely hostile. Though a lot of these enemies are still pretty appealing and pretty cute looking, even though these slimes transforming are... Well, no, they're cute too. But, uh... I'm just in the water and none of them are attacking me. They're like, what do we do? We're only water slimes and frog people. It's not like we could swim. Can I attack with my gun? I can't attack my, with my gun in the water. Well, jumping in the water helps make me completely immune to everybody trying to kill me, which is good to know. Uh, I waited an entire day and I feel energetic and all that energy is slowly starting to fade away. Not energy in the game, but energy in real life. I hope I have been fun and interesting. I will do my best. But, you know, I believe it's that time again. If you like what I do, don't be shy. <laughs> to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone. And this is Handington bumbling off. Bye!